Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about something that even just to help one of you guys. Anxiety after a breakup. I've been there, I've recently had a friend be there this week and it's not fun. And if this video can just help one person, that's all I want it to do. So it's a bit of a different video to what I usually do. So it happens. You and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, you've broken up. It's happened. The conversation has come and you are left there and that's it. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to cry. It is okay to be broken. The main thing that I want to point out to you guys is think back to why. Think back to why it didn't work out. Why you guys aren't suited to each other. Think back to why it didn't work out. And then remember... You guys broke up for a reason. The reason is still going to be there if you do get back together. If you continue with the relationship, that reason is always going to be there. At the back of your mind, at the back of their mind. It may be a bridge that you can get over. It may be just a dead end where you can't go any further. I went through a breakup when I was 20... 19, 20 years old. I'm a bit older now, but I've recently been reflecting on that time in my life and it was a really, really tough time. I'm getting anxious like thinking about it, like my heart is just pounding in my chest. I don't know if I'm even ready to like speak about this. How I felt after a breakup, scared to be alone. Are you having a million thoughts running through your head at the one time and you don't know what is going on in your head? Are you feeling like you can't breathe? You can't sleep, you can't eat, you can't function. I'm not going to say it's normal because it's in some cases it's not normal. But don't think that you're alone in feeling what you're feeling. Chances are a lot of people around you have felt the same way. And it's okay to reach out and get help. Get help through talking to friends, family members, your parents. I was at the point where I actually missed out on sitting four of my exams at university because I was that messed up. I went and saw the counsellor at university. I got the chance to be able to reschedule my exams for a few months later, which was fantastic. But you've got to reach out and get that help. You've got to admit that there's a problem and you don't know what to do because you're in, if you're in that situation, I could have just totally flunked university. My advice is to go and get help. I went to a few counselling sessions and I opened up a lot more to this counsellor. Wow, I can't even like say this. And I told her some of the things that I'd been thinking and feeling. Like I was scared to be alone and I was having panic attacks. And she actually referred me to a psychologist. Uh, it was all through the uni and... It was really, really good, really easy. Like in that kind of situation, it was easy for me. It may not be as easy for you, but I would suggest reaching out to a counsellor or any kind of assistance program. Call a hotline because it's there. It's there for you. And it really helps to have someone who knows nothing about the situation to be able to talk to them and them give you advice when they know nothing about you or the other person. They can just see it, not like your friends or your family see it. They're always going to take your side, your friends and family. But having that other person can be so helpful. I can't even remember how many sessions I had with the psychologist, but what was happening is your thoughts are just going too fast for your brain to process. And that's where the anxiety for me came from anyway. What we worked on was some breathing techniques to catch those thoughts as they were going through and slow them down. That really helped me. I was at the point in my life where I was going out and partying with my friends and everything like that. I'd been drinking and whenever I saw my ex-boyfriend, I'd have a panic attack in the middle of a nightclub. Needless to say, I think my friends got really just fed up with me. I think that they couldn't understand why I was so upset about it and they were angry at me that I'd let someone affect me so much. It's not about it's not about them, it's about you and how you cope with things. I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to take a while to get over the pain, get over the hurt from a breakup. It's not going to be something that you wake up the next day and it's gone. It's going to be with you for a long time 
and that's okay. And you know what? If it does, if you do wake up and it's just gone, then that's a good thing that you've moved on. I wish it was as simple as that for me, but it wasn't. I was a complete mess and it's okay. It's okay to be a mess. My best advice would be to distract yourself. Don't not go to school, not go to work, not do anything. Don't shut everything out of your life. Keep going as best as you can, obviously, like let people know that you're in a bit of a, an emotional state. That's fine. There, they'll be more than understanding. You will be surprised how understanding they'll be. For me, I actually pretty much started living with my friends at that point in time because I didn't want to be alone. I had a part-time job. Well, it was a casual job, but I had a lot of hours and I still kept going to my job. Uni was pretty much over for the year. So I I picked up um, more hours in work and everything like that and hung out with my friends a lot, which helped me go to the gym, like take, take a class, do something that is gonna help you like get it all out of your system like do a boxing class and have a cry, like just be emotional. It's okay. It's okay to be a mess. You don't need to hold yourself together hundred percent of the time with your thoughts that that are going a hundred miles an hour in your head. It really helps to get them out, to talk to someone, to write them down, just get them out of your head because sometimes one thought can keep going around and around and around and you'll never be able to get it out of your head. Just to get it out, get it out into the open and have it be said rather than just thinking of it over and over again. If people are offering help saying, come around or let's go out for lunch or dinner, take them up on that advice because I know for me, the scariest time was when I was alone with my thoughts. And that's where, and that's also when I'd have panic attacks. Music, music is such a powerful tool and it can really set your mood. I'm not saying go and listen to music that is just like happy, 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 or listen to really depressing music. I'm thinking find something in between. Everyone has different music tastes. But I went to the likes of Carrie Underwood and Kelly Clarkson. Just because some of the songs, they had a bit of punch to them. It's about finding the songs that will be that medium between the happy, happy and the depressing songs. Finding that ones that have that message for you to say, it's okay to move on kind of thing. There's one particular Carrie Underwood song that's called good and goodbye. For me, like that just hits home because you've got to remember everything happens for a reason. This whole world, like everything happens, everything that you go through makes you a stronger person, makes you a better person and leads you to what you're meant to be doing. If I had, say for example, stayed with that boyfriend, who knows what would have happened. I certainly wouldn't be here making videos on YouTube, which is what I love doing. And I wouldn't be married to my gorgeous husband, my best friend, the best person I know. There was a friend that I knew from high school and she had anxiety. Um, She probably still has anxiety. I don't know if she took medication for it, but she had really high social anxiety and I got talking to her one day and she recommended a book to me. And this book, no joke, changed my attitude, changed my life, brought me back from that place. It just it just hit home. The book is by Louise Hay and it's called You Can Heal Your Life. I would 110% recommend read this book. It shows to you that you choose how you react. And you can make things happen with thought processing. I actually need to read this book again because I need a refresher. This really helped with my anxiety and processing the thoughts of why things happen, if that makes sense. It's all about positive thinking. And if you're going to always think negatively and put put yourself down or put other people down even for that matter, that's what your life is going to be about. But if you think positively, then that's what your life is going to be about. All the good things. This book for me, I, I really holds, it holds a really important place in my heart. And I couldn't thank my friend enough 
like she probably doesn't even realize how much that actually helped me i'm not gonna lie to you guys i didn't fully i don't think you ever fully get over a relationship but i didn't move on until i found someone else and I can't even remember how long that was. I, I can't even let you know. But it just felt like my confidence was shattered. And I, I'd go out and not meet anyone. And I don't know. I was never the... Like, I'd always go out partying, but people would never come and... Like, boys would never come and talk to me. Yeah, it was just one night when I met this boy and he kind of gave me a lot of confidence. And it, obviously, it didn't work out with him either, but it was um, someone that took me on dates and I hung out with and I talked to and I got that confidence back. I think it was probably like six months or even more later. All I want to let you know is that it's going to hurt for a, a while. And there's going to be some questions that will never be answered. I know for my boyfriend, my first boyfriend, he told me he didn't want a girlfriend. And then I think it was like roughly three months later, he had a girlfriend and then he ended up marrying her. You've just got to think it didn't work out for a reason. I guess one of the things that I felt like I wasn't worthy, like I wasn't worthy of being someone's girlfriend that people would be like, oh, she only dated him for a couple of months. Like, you know, why didn't it work out kind of thing. And it's just that you're not suited to each other or people aren't ready to take the next step in the relationship or you are just too comfortable. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. Something that I also want to mention is if you do suffer from anxiety, talk to your doctor. If you need assistance with sleeping or your anxiety it's okay to talk to your doctor and ask and just be real about the situation obviously your doctor is going to know what is best for you and so I just want to let you know that you can get through it you will get through it and you'll be stronger because of it for me anxiety is something that comes and goes especially if I'm stressed out or I'm not getting along with someone or something really bad happens I'll have an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Just as long as someone around you knows that you are prone to having anxiety attacks and they can help you breathe. See, I need someone to breathe with me and count and help me breathe. Like a glass of water. I don't give a shit about a glass of water. Like you need to help me breathe because I've forgotten. <laughs> Chances are we've all been there. I'm not putting this out there to make you think, poor me, poor me. I'm Ron honestly 100% trying to help you guys because I just, I saw my friend this week and she was broken. And like, oh, I don't want anyone to go through that. It sucks. It hurts. And you know what? Guys can be jerks. So I'm really sorry about the depressing video. I just hope that this helps someone out there. And I'm here if you ever want to talk and you can get through it. Just think you're worth more than you'll ever even realize. It's the right person. When it happens, they'll come along and they'll come along when you least expect it. There's good in goodbye. Like, don't forget that. So yeah, that's all for me now. I hope this video helped even just one of you. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, you can get through this. And I love you and take care. You'll get through it. I promise. I love you guys. Bye. So I filmed a video about anxiety after a breakup and I got a bit emotional. But it's okay because... Oh no, Koki. This door's closed.